Albuquerque is such a place where public art thrives so much. There is a diversity of artists working in a variety of of ways. And that's something that's really special about living here is that the city values that kind of diversity of work so much. My name is Camelia Caton Garcia and I'm a visual artist. For me, what that means is I work in a variety of visual media. I work with painting, drawing, photography, film, found footage, and found objects. I'm really concerned with landscape, um, and in particular, the landscape of the American West. So both the geography and geology of the landscape, but also sort of the psychic relationship we have to the landscape. So the history and the myth and our spiritual relationship to where we live. Um, it's such a complex history here, especially given that it's part of the American colonial project. Um, so I'm interested in talking about that and talking about that complexity and that multi-layered aspect to history through visual image. One of the great things about receiving a grant like that is you do, you feel like what you're pursuing is worthwhile and you have a new engagement in your own work. And you know that you are doing this to contribute to a community, being able to purchase materials and in particular materials that I hadn't considered working with before um, because they were cost prohibited. I've been able to incorporate some of those. So that's been really liberating in my creative process. But I think the most important thing that the money has allowed me to do is just to have time to focus on my art. I'm very lucky, I have a job that I love, but having money from this grant has allowed me to be comfortable with prioritizing my artwork and taking time to prioritize that artwork. And I don't think there's anything that's more valuable than giving someone time to work on their creative process. I became really fascinated by timelines um, and the way that the Western tradition has tried to historically represent time and the passage of time um, and build maps around time. That's the project that I've been working on is sort of building this instrument that talks about time and place um, and geography and the experience of being in the Southwest to sort of interpret the place around us. Making visual work is definitely the most important thing in my life. Not only does it bring me a lot of joy, but it's a way for me to process and interpret the world. Um, you know, life is hard, it's difficult, um, and it can be difficult to sort of assimilate all of the things that you feel and all of the experiences that you have, both making visual art, but also being a consumer of other people's visual art has done so much to make my life feel fulfilled.